What's up everyone? Jake Flynn here with Apocalypse Movies and I'm here to do a trailer reaction for the first trailer for Molly's Game, the directorial debut for writer and now director Aaron Sorkin, uh, the well-known screenplay artist basically. And uh, Molly's Game stars Jessica Chastain, Idris Elba, Michael Cera, Chris O'Dowd, and some Kevin Costner as well. Um, if you have never heard of this film, do not worry. It's something that should be on your radar just yet, but that'll probably change very, very soon. Uh, here is an official synopsis for the film in case you don't or have not heard of it. Uh, Molly's Game is the true story of, of Molly Bloom, a beautiful young Olympic class skier who ran the world's most exclusive high stakes poker game for a decade before being arrested in the middle of the night by 17 FBI agents wielding automatic weapons. Her players included Hollywood royalty, sports, art, sports stars, business titans, and finally, underbeknownst to her, the Russian mob. Her only ally was her criminal defense lawyer, Charlie Jaffe, who learned that there was much more to Molly than the tabloids led us to believe. Um, so yeah, I mean, this sounds exciting. It's something that we rarely see. We don't really see uh, the world of poker inside film. Uh, we've seen it here and there, especially in the past, but nothing as of uh, late. And with a cast like Jessica Chastain, Idris Elba, Kevin Costner, and then the key is directed by Aaron Sorkin. Now, Sorkin is known for his work as a writer, um, Social Network. Uh, last year he did, or two years ago, he did Steve Jobs. Um, he's kind of been under the wing of David Fincher for, for a lot as well. He has a lot of well-known films to his name. It'll be interesting to see how he does as a director. We've seen it happen in the past. Wally Pfister is the one that comes to mind. He studied under Christopher Nolan. He was Christopher Nolan's writer for so long. He went on to be a director for Transcendence, I think the film was called, with Johnny Depp. And the film just bombed. It was horrible. I actually never even saw it. I just, I heard the, the word of mouth that it was so, so bad. Hopefully that's not the case with this. We're here to watch the trailer. I have yet to see it. I will be watching it for the first time with you guys. Molly's Game, Aaron Sorkin, Jessica Chastain, Idris Elba. Here we go. Jessica Biel? Um, 
All right, first reaction. I love what I'm seeing. I love the style, the tone, the feel of it. Uh, Aaron Sorkin it des definitely has his writing style. It definitely has a David Fincher directing style type thing. And the only knock I have is that I felt like I saw too much. And I won't know until the film comes out. It looks like it comes out in November, which is a which is awesome because that's not that far away. But I just, a two 45 minute trailer, you know, maybe too long for the first one. I just wanted to see a teaser, hopefully something to kind of pique my interest. Um, but unfortunately it was kind of the opposite. Now, like I said, I won't know until I see the film what they showed that may have been revealing. I can already tell, especially from after reading the synopsis, they already showed certain scenes that imply what's gonna happen in the film. And, you know, the synopsis kind of reveals what's going to happen at the end of the movie. It, the trailer definitely kind of builds on that as far as court cases and whatnot. But keep that a secret. Like, let the audience kind of decide for themselves what, what's going to happen. Because realistically, how many people read synopsis before they go watch a movie? They watch the trailers. And that's a great tool to use as previews. Now, today it just sucks because there's so many trailers that show way too much. This isn't one of the ones that exposes a film, but it definitely showed a little too much in my opinion. With that said, like, like I said, I like what I'm seeing. Like it looks intriguing, interesting, not too much of the intensity factor. I just, I just want to know what happens, how it happened. Um, I love Jessica Chastain. She's probably one of my top three favorite actresses working today. Idris Elba, top five working actors working today. Um, I will watch anything that they're in. I just watched Miss, Miss Sloan with Jessica Chastain from last year. Maybe not the best movie, but she was phenomenal in that role. And it's very much of the same kind of role. So that's what gets me interested. Um, seeing her in Chast Chastain, or she, seeing uh, her and Elba working together is going to be awesome. Kind of how they counter each other. Uh, a little bit of Mike and Sarah in there, which is interesting. I think I saw a peak of Jessica Bill, which is, she's awesome. I like seeing her back in the film world. Um, but yeah, I'm all in for Molly's game right now. It sounds interesting. It looks interesting. Keep the trailers to a minimum for right now. It's not that far away. So just slide it down a bit and don't show too much. Um, I'm Jake Blinn. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at Qui-Gon Jake. Make sure you check out Apocalypse on YouTube, on ApocalypseMovies.com as well our movie news site. Uh, we're trying to do big things here. Paddle on Podcast, Comic Hero Talk, movie reviews, movie or trailer reactions. Also, we are now on iTunes. Our big shows, the Paddle on Comic Hero Talks, they are now on iTunes. You can check those out there at Apocalypse Movies. Again, thank you for joining me, and until next time, see you later.